I'm going to summarize and review um, American Tell. Um, this movie is interesting. Is that what about this movie? Is that it's about these Jewish Russian mouse moving to America. The reason why they did it because their 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 country have a rough state where these mean Russia soldier cat trying to murder these Jews and stuff like that and trying to hurt them and then they realize that it's a bad environment in there and so that they move to America that they go to all the way to America to, to get better things in there. But I probably will like move to nearby places like Denmark or England. I would say, but just my opinion, just my opinion. Going to faraway places is a bit unsafe after all. This movie being known for for being dark and sad. The reason why it's known for that is actually because of how the movie show us how these Russia Jewish mouths are suffering from their country. How these soldier cats trying to like murder them and of course they front to force to move to America United States of America and and yes it is nice in there but they still treat them pretty badly. Like they actually like don't let them like go to school. They don't they don't like they don't treat them the same. They treat them differently and of course they have them forced labor. Like the moment that reference that like the that like, this evil like rat that's like like literally um i try to explain what it is is that it's a cat disguised as a rat and you thought he thought that um this um this um fake rat going to like take him home but actually he didn't he actually take him to child labor child labor but then could he left because it, it's pretty bad it's pretty bad there Philo or Philly, we'll just call him Philly. I can't even pronounce his name. Um, Philly is a sweet boy that um, that struggle live in America. Like he was this immigrant trying to like have a safer place and have a good childhood, but he's still struggling because of how they treat him differently and stuff like that. They have, he have friends that treat him better and stuff like that. They, like, his friends treat him much better than other people did. But you present, he's just trying to get used to the United States American culture and stuff like that. And I think the, the most pointed plot of him and also his point to go is finding his parents and stuff like that. That's the most pointed part that he's trying to find his parent and the whole time in this movie he was so alone he's like no alone have no parent role model in there the only one that actually helped him out was a pigeon and his friend most of the friends the pigeon just like okay i'll have you out a little bit and stuff like that you know but yeah it's pretty sad that he had to like be alone in, in this entire movie and it just it feels sad type of way his Jewish parents, mom and dad, the mouse, um, they're okay. They're okay. They're good parents. It's just an annoying part of the movie is that the parents not paying attention to that fire, like Philly was in front of them. And it was just so annoying of me. It's just so annoying to watch. Like, I understand that they want to make it a little longer of finding him, but I think it'd be much better. They have a, they find him a little earlier, just my opinion. And, 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 you know, I, it's like, they did not spend time that much each other because the whole time he was lost in this movie. I think it'd be a little, it's just my opinion, it's gonna be a little better to have a, they find each other just a little earlier and they have more characteristics. Yes, it's good that they have a, find them a little later because they want to get in pat and want to make it happy, also sad. But it's still, you know, I don't know. Tara, um, Philly's sister. Yeah, I'm not pretty sure what her American name is and stuff like that. But she's really sweet. She's the only one that think, um, Philly is alive while the parents think he's dead. And it's kind of dark. You realize that they lost a child while migrating to the United States. This is sad. But she said she's the only one that care about her brother. And she's the only one that figure out that literally... Um, Philly is out there, and she literally saw Philly in there, and she recognized it while the parents just don't. So yeah, she's a best sister. She's a good sister. She cared about her brother. What a good sister. 
This movie is scary. Is that this movie is scary because of the evil cat soldier trying to murder all these mouses and torture them and stuff like that? It's really sad. But an interesting thing about it is that you have history of it is that a lot of Jews have been treated really badly in a lot of history, especially the World War II controversial and stuff like that. I don't want to talk about because it it's a bit dark and very gruesome. Is that they take these Jews to the Holocaust and do some horrible things. It's really sad. And these Jews and other people who have their religious or have their race should not be tortured like that. It's really sad and stuff like that. The um, immigrants going to ship is the point in scene of the movie is because they tell us a reason of why these mouse are ready to move to the United States of America. They explain a lot of characters' mouse explain about why they're moving to the United States of America. Like a Spanish mouse explain about how they um murder his um mother. Um the Irish boy explain that um someone murder his friend. I'm not for sure, I would say. I'm not for sure of it at all. But they explain to you oh, why they want to go to the United States of America. They, don't want, they want to avoid these evil cats that hurry them and ruin their freedom and stuff like that and just doing some horror things to each other and stuff like that. And it's got that good um, characteristic of everybody that they're ready to go to the United States of America. They're ready to go to a better place. That is good for them. I forgot his name. I'm sorry. I forgot his name. But he is a cat disguising as a rat and stuff like that. He kind of do look like a rat, by the way. But, yes. Interesting thing is that he's pretty much a small cat. And so he can take advantage by, like, disguising as as a taller rat. So, anyway. um, He is rush inventing the evil thing about cat. But his American version is that... Like, you thought that he's in your side, right? You thought that he's going to care about you. You thought that he's going to help you out. But, no, he didn't. He will take you to, like, um child labor work session. Like, they force you to do all that work and stuff like that. So, you're in a sweatshop and you have to, like, suffer in there. You have to stay there a long time and stuff like that. That's what he's doing. And a lot of mouse are tired of his crap. They're tired of it. They want to revenge all the cats and stuff like that. And so they make a plan of making this big, big rat and have him scare him off and stuff like that. And yeah, Tony, he's on the cool mouse that um was in the sweatshop and stuff like that and went Philly like Fible. We're gonna call it Fible this moment. Uh, Fible like in the sweatshop and he. He just wanted to leave and stuff like that. And so, he left. And, of course, Tony come, too. And and Tony give Fiebel the nickname Philly. Probably, yeah. And, and in the short of the video, I'll call him Philly and stuff like that. So, yeah. Bridget. Um... She's like this love and trish for Tony and stuff like that. She's very... She's intelligent. She want to help, help the... Mouse fine for the right for the cast and stuff like that. She's pretty helpful and stuff like that. She is pretty though, I would say. And got the interest of it all and stuff like that. So yeah, Tony and Bridges are a good couple and stuff like that. That help each other. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. But yeah, they're really good friend for um t- um Philly. They're really good friend for him, by the way. Very good. I'm going to talk about the saddest part of this movie. Is that um, the mouse thinking that the Mer- nice America would not have um any cats, but they do have cats. But it's a little different. They still treat the mouse pretty badly. And the other thing that is mostly pointed in this movie that is, is pretty sad is literally uh Philly giving up. He gave up that he couldn't find his parents. It's just oh my goodness, it was sad. You thought that he gonna be like not having parents at all. Like oh my goodness. 